So, so I'm Ruben. I'm, I'm part of a local startup here in Austin called the Dell Medical School. And um, I, I, I want to talk to you about a little bit about how we hope to support the entrepreneurial ecosystem here, here in Austin. So, so um, as some of you may know, the founding of the medical school started with our, the community around us voting to increase their property tax to seed the school, which is an incredible thing. And absolutely, it was incredible. And um, because of that, everything we do in the medical school, for all of us, revolves around giving back to the community. Um, it revolves around... Um, <laughs> thank you. It revolves around helping people get and stay healthy. That's our North Star, that's, that's what we, we are about. Um, so how, how do we go about doing that? To start off with, uh, it's important to have, for us to have a clear and deliberate point of view, unlike any other medical school. Our point of view, our measure for success is that the way we deliver care, the way that we support research and innovation, the way we educate will result in a measurable improvement of health, of the health of our community. Um, and how do we go about doing that? And, and, and the, the, the idea for us to do that, we need to innovate along the entire spectrum of health. So we need to come up with new solutions, new business models that incentivizes health outcomes, how people feel. We need to create new ways to partner with entrepreneurs and, and innovators. We need to create new experiences for people who receive health care. We need to deliver high quality care for people where they live, not where it's convenient for clinicians. And, and finally, we, we need to educate a new group of medical leaders who think of themselves as a member of a team, of a network that helps people get and stay healthy, as opposed to a leader in that, in that team. Um, and we are, we're in a very unique position that we can actually start from scratch. So we don't have the burden of a legacy system that often makes it very challenging to create some of these new solutions. Um, so when I arrived here in Austin almost two years ago now, um, I, it was amazing to see the number of people and resources in the city that support entrepreneurship and, and in, in innovation. And, and they were so nice and welcoming and, and, and kind and thoughtful. And, and when I thought about what we should do in the medical school to support entrepreneurship and innovation, I wanted to create programs and initiatives that really added value to the already vibrant ecosystem, not replicate what, what was already here. Um, so, um, so, so I want to talk to you about a couple of things that um, we're gonna do, but before that, um, so in, in thinking about what we could add on to the already vibrant ecosystem, we honed in a couple of things that we feel that we are uniquely capable to, to adding to, to the ecosystem. One is the ability to convene key stakeholders to uncover and describe unmet, critical unmet health needs in, in our ecosystem. Another, another thing that we can create is a platform to help innovators validate and test their product and business assumptions as quickly and efficiently as possible. And finally, we can create an ecosystem where we can help innovators validate and test their ideas in a real-world clinical setting. I think we're uniquely qualified to, to do that. The idea is that if, if you as an innovator are trying to solve problems that health problems that face our community, if you are an innovator that is trying to solve the problems that we care about, I feel like we almost have an obligation to make sure you succeed, or at least give you the tools and resources to validate your ideas as quickly and efficiently as possible. So just want to highlight a couple of programs that, that we have. The, the first, which is the most mature, is called the Texas Health Catalyst. It's essentially a program that starts with unmet needs, unmet health needs in our community, and puts it out there as a challenge for innovators to come around the table to help us solve. And um, it's been this, we just launched our third cycle, and for the first time, we're opening it up to 
entrepreneurs and startups in our region. Now, one caveat, uh, there's no seed funding for startups, and that's my fault. Um, so most of our funding right now comes from UT and our partners. It's my number one priority to figure out how to raise funds from non-UT sources that, so that in the next cycle I can provide funding to startups. But if you would like early an early read on what you're developing from a clinician or from an industry expert and a potential path to collaborating with the Dell Medical School, please reach out to us. Deadline is June, June 8th. Um, you know, an another thing that's often lacking in, in, in uh, um, programs like this is follow through. So what we're doing is to create a physical space in our medical school to co-locate entrepreneurs with our clinicians and researchers to, to test out new ideas in our clinical setting. Um, and finally, we want to create workshops, educational workshops to help elevate the shared understanding of opportunities and challenges uh, in, 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 in health innovation. So as you can tell, um, we are a startup ourselves. We, um, we're still, I'm still trying to figure out the business model around what I'm doing. We are not quite at product market fit, but I hope this was interesting, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. So thank you.